Tech Block PC that we have behind us there in the gaming setup hasn't really been upgraded for a little while. It's kind of a shame, but Lee and Lee reached out today and they sent out some amazing cables for me to add into this build. It's about time we upgrade the Tech Block PC and give it some more RGB lighting because that's really what does increase FPS, right? Or so I've heard. You know, the more RGB you have, the more frames you're going to have, especially if you add these cables. I'm kidding, of course. Genuinely, these are probably the sickest RGB cables, if not the only real RGB cables out there on the market for your power supply. These are extension cables. The one that we have here is a 6 plus 2 pin 300 millimeter extension cable. So this is, of course, going to go into your graphics card. I currently have an RTX 2060, which uses an 8 pin power connector. Lee and Lee also sent out a 24 pin motherboard cable. This one is slightly shorter at just 200 millimeters, but it makes sense. You don't really need this to be too long. This is a no basic lighting effects where you're going to set a single static color and, you know, Woo, you have RGB. Oh hell no, Lee and Lee has gone all out on these cables. These are like addressable, they're insane. They offer so many different lighting effects. When it comes to package contents, the 8-pin GPU power cable from Lee and Lee comes very well packaged and setting this entire thing up is very easy. This after all is just a normal GPU power cable but with some LED tubes slapped on top. So it is all very easy and very simple to set up. However, bear in mind that you can sync this cable up to this via this hub. But if you've only bought this 8-pin RGB GPU power cable, you don't need to worry about any of this extra stuff. All you'd have to do in order to get this thing up and running and set up is simply plug this cable into this optional cable right here. This is simply just a 3-pin 5-volt ARGB cable that you'd plug into your motherboard header. Simple as that, you just plug this into your motherboard, plug in your GPU power cables, and you're up and running. But we're gonna be doing a slightly different type of setup as we do have this hub that came with the 24 pin extension cable. So if we take a look at this thing, we have of course our 24 pin motherboard power cable. This one too does of course come with an extra cable used to power all the LED lights and control all of them. The hub itself is powered via SATA power via these included cables right here, all very well packaged. So you would take your 24 pin power cable and you would plug it into this hub exactly like this. So you're gonna plug that into there. There you go, job done. And you would do the same thing right here, but for your GPU power cable as well. There we go. Both of these are powered by the hub now. All we have to do here is of course power the Lee and Lee hub itself via SATA power. Then we have this cable right here, which once again is the five volt ARGB cable that you're gonna be plugging into your motherboard. This one terminates into a little two pin, and that is pretty much it. We have a five volt SATA power cable and a five volt ARGB cable that we're gonna plug into our motherboard. So this goes into the motherboard, this goes into the power supply, and all that's left to do now is of course replace our standard braided cables with some braided plus RGB cables. These custom sleeve cables from Lee and Lee genuinely do look really nice. And one more thing I should mention, these cables do of course come with some cable combs as well to aid with cable management and make sure, you know, everything's flowing nicely in one piece. All right, the PC has been shut down and we're ready to begin adding these lovely RGB cables inside. All right, let's uh, turn the power supply off. But I think for the most part, I can probably even get away with keeping this PC on this desk. Like I've got a decent amount of space to kind of work with here. So I think I can probably get the whole thing upgraded without moving the actual PC. Okie dokie, okay, SATA power. Let's plug that in straight away. Boom, that's done. Now we need to, of course, sync all the RGB up. So here's our old 24 pin cable. Let's stick this Lee and Lee cable through here. When it comes to the GPU power cable, I actually have to flip the whole thing over and disassembling the LED portion from the normal portion really is quite easy. So all I've done is I've removed the braided cables from this LED portion very, very easily. And all I'm gonna do now is just kind of like reassemble the whole thing. I've ended up doing a slight modification to my graphics card power cable. 
I have an RTX 2060 in this PC and it's a reference card. It only needs one 8-pin power connector. So what I did is I simply just removed the other 8-pin power connector from this, rewired the whole thing, and it really didn't take too long. I just kind of like rebuilt it, re cable managed the whole thing, and we're ready to go. I have one 6 plus 2-pin power connector, so you could literally use this for just about any kind of graphics card you want, but you cannot split the actual LED portion in half. This is still like an 8-channel LED kit, which is actually kind of a good thing because we get more RGB and, you know, we don't have some random cable just sitting there not plugged into anything. So this has been a nice little workaround for me. All right, the cables are installed. Let's turn the power supply on. All right, good sign. The PC is still turning on. By the way, I have never seen these cables actually light up in person. So, three, two, one. <gasps> they work! Oh my god, look at them go, dude! These are insane. As I kind of told you guys, these cables are actually crazy. Lee and Lee, you outdid yourself, genuinely. Like, this is too good. All right, let's try and mess around with some of these lighting effects and see if we can find, like, the proper RGB one. Okay, like, one thing I'm noticing is that these cables are very, very bright. All right, it's the following day and I spent a couple of hours today tweaking this entire PC build, making sure we enable as much RGB lighting as we possibly can. And I finally got this Lian Lee Razer Edition PC case to be detected within Razer Synapse. As you can see right there, the PC case has actually been detected by Windows finally. It took a while, it took a long time, but uh, I ended up just messing around with like the USB configuration and stuff and messing around with the 5 volt ARGB pins. It was definitely a bit of a struggle getting everything to work and everything to kind of sync up, but we kind of did it in the end. And when it comes to the RGB cables that were installed here from Lee and Lee, oh my god, they're crazy. The RGB lighting effects that are built in, the amount of different effects that Lee and Lee offers via the hub is actually kind of mind blowing. Like, there's so many different variations of each effect, all with different colors, there's different types of effects. Like, it would actually take me a long time to go through every single one of them. That's how many different effects Lee and Lee has packed in. And that's not including any of the effects that you can find on ASUS ROG. Like, the ASUS Aura effects are completely different, especially the rainbow ones. If you want, like, this kind of rainbow effect, on your PC build, you're gonna kind of need to sync it up to like ASUS Aura Sync or MSI Mystic Light. But even without the software, the amount of different lighting effects and how advanced they can be really is quite impressive. As for the current lighting effect that we have enabled, it is of course a rainbow mode. And if I show you right here exactly what these settings are, I have selected a gradient effect with this kind of a uh, hue range, so we have 0 up to 270 because uh, anything in the purple range will kind of make all of these cables and all of the fans stay purple for way too long uh, whilst cycling through this color range. So I've limited it to 270 which I think is actually the default uh, but I've made sure to select the gradient effect instead of just the color cycle. But if we go ahead and let's say select, uh, let's go on to static, okay? So selecting a static color is actually so, so easy. How about we just set this entire PC to the color green? I'm gonna press apply and boom, there we go. Apart from the case and these fans, which I will eventually find a way to sync, I think I just need more like addressable RGB cables and stuff. Or perhaps what I should do is just swap all these Antec fans and replace them with some more of these Lian Lee ones. I think that would be a good idea. But as for these cables, like you can see on camera, these don't even appear green, they appear white. That's because these cables are just so goddamn bright, it's insane. If we set this whole PC build to red, it almost hurts my eyes to look at it because that's how bright especially those cables are. Whenever I look at this PC build now, the first thing that really catches your eye and really does stand out, especially because they're kind of like very bright, uh, you can actually adjust the brightness of these if you don't want them to be like obnoxiously bright. I've set mine to like 100% brightness, but you can adjust the brightness on the controller itself. 
and possibly within Asus Aura as well. Apart from that though, I'm gonna get going. Thank you all so much for watching. Massive shout out to Lee and Lee for of course sponsoring the video and sending out some amazing RGB cables. These here are of course the Streamer Plus or Streamer Plus, however it's pronounced, but they are sick. These are crazy RGB cables only for like the most RGB of PC builds out there. Like if your PC is all about RGB, you need these cables inside there. Trust me, these are so nice. Like the RGB lighting effects, just the way Lian Li is implemented, like the RGB lighting, the setup process, everything about this product is like pretty damn good. Setting them up is easy. You just plug in one extra cable to of course power the RGB lighting. You can just plug it in straight to your motherboards, five volt ARGB header, and straight away you get control for Asus or a sync, MSI Mystic Light or whatever other motherboard manufacturer that you're using. But these are sick man, genuinely so cool. Link in description down below of course to where you can buy these cables and I hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.